Picture this. You walk into a new class on the first day of school and the person that you have a crush on gets assigned the seat right next to you. At first you get this feeling of butterflies and then the overthinking starts where you start asking yourself things like, should I introduce myself? Do I look good right now? Maybe I'm gonna sound like an idiot. We've all been there, you know? So today I wanna to talk about crushes and tell you guys a story about how I learned to conquer this feeling of nervousness or anxiety when I was put into a situation almost exactly like this. So during my sophomore year of college, I remember in the first semester I had a math class. It was some sort of algebra or calc related course. I don't remember exactly which math class it was, but I mean, I just remember it was frustrating, you know? And on the first day of class, I got there kind of late and I sat down and there was only two seats left in the entire room. You know, I picked one of them and the other empty seat happened to be right next to me. And of course, you know, five minutes later into the class, uh, the last student shows up who is also late and she has to sit down right next to me. So, you know, of course she didn't choose this seat. It just kind of happened like this. But the thing was, I almost instantly had a crush on her. But because she was so pretty, I figured, you know, she's completely out of my league. So instantly I thought, you know, that's that. Like, I, I don't have a chance. So I didn't have any of these feelings of like overthinking or, you know, I wasn't ever nervous to be around her because there, there was never a thought in my head to begin with that, you know, maybe she would like me too, you know? Uh, and because of this, I just treated her like a, another person in the class. And after class, I introduced myself. I said that the class sucked, you know, uh, math is hard. And she said the same thing. She, she didn't want to be there either. Uh, and we just kind of clicked. So time goes by and uh, we become friends. When there's homework that neither of us can figure out, you know, we started helping each other out with it. Um, we started studying for tests together. Uh, there were even times where we partnered up for specific projects for the class. And about halfway through the semester, I realized that uh, not only do I now have a crush on this girl, um, I'm, not, I'm not nervous to be around her and I'm not nervous to ask her questions or tell her about my hobbies uh, because the whole time I wasn't thinking to myself from the start that maybe I could screw this up, uh, maybe maybe she's gonna think I'm weird. None of those thoughts ever entered my head because I thought she was completely unobtainable from the start. And the best part about that was I was actually able to be completely myself because I never overthought any of the situations. I just completely acted like my open and honest self from the start. And long story short, uh, that girl ended up becoming my girlfriend. And she was my girlfriend for a long time throughout all of college. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is, I just remember all of these other times when I'd have crushes on girls and I would, I would either just completely ignore them and never never try and pursue them or I would but I'd overthink and then you know after the first interaction with them I would be like I, I sounded like such an idiot why did I say that uh, you know every single situation I would just overthink and be overcritical and I wouldn't really act my, like myself I'd act like someone that I thought maybe they would want me to act like you know and after having this situation through college, I realized that I was going about these kind of interactions so incorrectly. Like, you have to remember that the entire reason that she later on became my girlfriend was like almost completely an accident. I, I said to myself from the start, and I fully and honestly believed this, that because this girl was so far out of my league, that I had nothing to worry about because it's not like I was gonna try and make her my girlfriend. I'll just treat her like a, every other normal person that I would meet, you know? Um, I mean, almost any time that I meet someone, whether I instantly like them or instantly dislike them, I'm 
still just trying to be the the nicest person I can. I I love to help people and I love to make friends. Um, so I treated this interaction just like I treat any other one. And it was because of this like accidental mistake almost that uh, I had such a, a great time uh, throughout these years of my life. So long story short, all I want you to do is just reflect on how you treat your best friend or reflect on how you treat just some random everyday person that you meet at the grocery store. Like you ever check out from a store and then the person that's like scanning your items or whatever just says something that makes you like genuinely smile. And then, you know, you're grabbing your bags, you're leaving the store and then you're just thinking to yourself like, what a nice guy, you know, like that was, he was so kind. That makes you like the person so much more. He, even if you're not looking to have a relationship with whoever this person is. I think that if you just treat every single person the same, once you end up in a situation where maybe you want to actually have a relationship with someone, you're, you're already comfortable with them. Because when you have a crush on someone, they're intimidating most of the time. And I'm not here trying to tell you that being nervous about talking to people isn't okay, or that having anxiety when you meet someone new is bad because I mean this is fine I even after I have all of these realizations like I still sometimes get nervous when I talk to people it's sometimes I, I'm not wearing an outfit that makes me feel confident other times I just I wake up and I'm tired and I just don't really want to talk to people you know so I mean this is all stuff that you have to consider but really all I'm trying to say is if you like someone you know don't be nervous don't plan what you're gonna say don't walk up to them and be like hello my name is lucas and i think you're pretty you know just don't be weird just just talk to them treat them like a like any other person that you would whether you're on the street or in class or whatever it might be when when you're kind to people when you make them smile they gravitate towards you and when you act like yourself it makes other people want to act like themselves as well and that's how you build this feeling of, of being comfortable, you know? So that's all I really wanted to talk about today. But if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please drop a comment about situations that you've had. Uh, I would love to either give my own advice or maybe dive into some topics that you guys would like to hear about sometime. But again, I can't thank you guys enough. I, I love to see all of your support for these kinds of videos. And if you'd like to see more, just let me know because, I mean, these are things that I love to talk about. So, again, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.